Hey friends, welcome to Heartland Family Adventures. Today we invite you to join us for dinner at the Liberty Tree Tavern at Disney World's Magic Kingdom. This restaurant is located in Liberty Square inside a really neat colonial style house with rooms themed after America's heritage and founding fathers. They serve an amazing Thanksgiving style feast here and we can't wait to share with you. Come and join us. We've got lots more Disney World content heading your way, so if you enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel so you receive a notification when we post a new video. Hey guys! <laughs> we are in Liberty Square in the Magic Kingdom today, and we are getting ready to eat at the Liberty Tree Tavern, so we're so excited! <laughs> it's a good thing we're hungry. Yeah, yeah, definitely hungry today. It is a um, fam served family style and it's like a Thanksgiving, um, you know, traditional Thanksgiving uh, dinner. Uh, so we're very excited for that. It's for some home style cooking. <laughs> as much food as you can stuff yourself with. Uh -huh. Which yeah, we've been doing turkey. anyway. Yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be delicious. I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm, I'm so ready. So behind us, if you see here in, in Liberty, uh, Liberty Square, we've got the Liberty Bell and then the Hall of Presidents back here. And uh, if you want to turn it around, you can see the Liberty Tree Tavern is right across. There's the tavern. Just waiting for our reservation, and I'll show you guys the right behind us is the Liberty Bell. Super cool. And the Hall of Presents. And up there, if you see those candy canes and the Christmas decorations, that's where the Muppets pop out. Uh huh. Yeah, we just saw Sam Eagle. We saw Kermit and Miss Piggy earlier. It's really cool. Over here's the oh, yield. Look, look. You can see oh, Sammy and Fozzie. <laughs> awesome. That's so fun. I love that they bring them up and out. Oh, and they're doing Christmas bells. <laughs> Super cool. Our table's ready. We just got the message that our table's ready. Inside, you'll see six different historically themed rooms with a huge brick fireplace at the entrance, beautiful wood paneling, chandeliers, and decor all over the walls and artifacts and pictures. The rooms are each themed after a different historic icon, including Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, John Paul Jones, Paul Revere, Betsy Ross, and George Washington. We were seated in the Betsy Ross room and loved all the theming and decor. And don't forget to walk around all the rooms to see the decorations and artifacts and read about each room. It was really fascinating, especially for all you history buffs. So we are at the Liberty Tree Tavern and they seated us in the Betsy Ross room. So looking around all the, see above the fireplace panel, it says the house of Betsy Ross, established in 1752. I love all the different the decor on the walls. This is so cool. Every each of the rooms are themed after after someone different. Different patriots. Yeah, different patriots in America history. And this is a really neat little room. We're kind of up above as you come in the entrance. There's another room you can see. They're kind of divided into little rooms in that like a house. dinner rolls and a salad. Mm -hmm. This is a celebration salad and these look like nice yet soft warm uh, dinner rolls. These look really good. Really nice and warm and they're like a little little pat of butter over here. This looks really tasty. And then this is just a simple um, garden salad. Tomatoes and cucumbers and radishes on top. Quite bite. It's like it's nicely dressed. It's a nice vinaigrette dressing on there. I like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice to 
simple salad. I like that it's small. This is gonna be a big meal. So it's all sort of family style brought out. Next we'll have the Patriots platter. Mm. Fresh butter. <laughs> mm. Good rolls, nice and warm. Nice yeast rolls. Yeah, same thing like you would have for Thanksgiving meal. <laughs> Very nice. Patriots platter has arrived. We have the roasted turkey, stuffing, the pulled pork, and I think there's pot roast in there somewhere too. <laughs> and with the really decadent looking macaroni and cheese. And then the homestyle cooked green beans and mashed potatoes. This looks amazing. It's like a traditional Thanksgiving meal. Looks like that must be the cranberry sauce right there. <laughs> We still got our rolls and then some gravy over here too. Looks really, really good. Can't wait to dig in. All right. All right, guys. We're so excited. Thanksgiving again. Yeah, Thanksgiving dinner. One week later. <laughs> this is our Patriots platter that just arrived. And oh my goodness, it looks amazing. So we've got roasted turkey, whole pork, stuffing, mashed potatoes, roasted green beans, and this mac and cheese looks really good too. And then even some cranberry, I put a little bit of cranberry sauce on my turkey, so we'll try it, we'll try everything. Let's dig it? Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna try the mac and cheese. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a nice and cheesy. traditional mac and cheese. Yeah, very traditional style mac and cheese. Nothing fancy, yeah. just, just really, Really uh, cheesy and creamy. It's Disney, so I think everyone makes sure to have that for the kids. That is one that the, the kids will love. Yeah. This pot roast is really good. Mm. Green yeah. beans are perfectly cooked. Nice and slow roasted with lots of onion. Yeah, like slow roasted onion flavor. That's really good. Nice. The pot roast is really tender, perfectly cooked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Try some of the steppy. That's just like very traditional stuffing. Nothing, again, nothing fancy. I think I get a little bit of like nice cornbread stuffing. Dark good. Mm -hmm. mm. Ooh, the mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are really buttery, really buttery and creamy. And tastes like they got some sour cream or something going on in there. They're really, really nice. You get the skin from the whole potato in there, so they like blended it and whipped it really nicely. Yeah, it's definitely some sour cream. Mm. This is this is this is great. This is so like comfort food, like Thanksgiving dinner at Grandma's house. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. so we've read this is one of the better places to eat in the Magic Kingdom and flipping up. This yeah, yeah, so far this may be my one of my favorite places to eat in Magic Kingdom for sure. Just based on this experience so far. And this is quality food. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't even tried the turkey yet. Mm. That'll be the test. My goodness, that pot roast. That pot roast is fantastic. Yeah, that's that's better than most pot roasts that I've had. Yeah. It's not it's nice, light. slow cooked. It's got good onion flavor in there. It's just Very really, good. really tender. When I was good as Raglan Road or we went early in the week. That was the best I've ever had. But yeah, this, this is, is very good, good for Disney. Yeah. Roast, yeah. Okay, how about the turkey? Nice and moist. Mm. Not dry at all. It's got a good yeah. turkey gravy on it. I, mean, I put some of the cranberry sauce. No, I just there. I want to try it plain. I didn't put anything else on it. If you want the gravy, that's fine, but I don't, it doesn't have to have it. It stands on its own. I really like it with the cranberry sauce, too. It's good to mix the stuffing and the, and the turkey and the cranberry sauce together. That's really nice. It's nice and tart, but not too tart. Okay, I'll try a little cranberry. <laughs> I convinced him. It's good. Better than you, the stuff you get out of the can. <laughs> Much better. Yeah. I like it better that way than I do in like a drink though. I just yeah. I don't like a cranberry flavoring. I, lo I like the turkey. It's not the best I've ever had. I think I, I prefer the pot roast. I think pot roast is maybe a That's little a little bit more flavorful. Um, but yeah, it's all very very good. I love the green beans. I love the green beans and mashed potatoes. The pot roast. 
mac and cheese is very solid, one the kids would love, and the turkey is really well done too. Yeah, they Not dry at all, so that's that's a plus. They didn't try to make too fancy of a mac and cheese yeah. or like a white. You know, our kids, if they bring out that white cheddar mac and cheese, they won't even they won't even touch it. So. <laughs> Don't do the mac and cheese too fancy. No, I like it. Everything is really good. Um, yeah. Can't, no, no complaints at all. Yeah, That's turkey's great. not dry. Everything I can cut. I don't even need a knife to cut anything. Everything is really, really tender. I can just cut it right with a fork. Delicious. Great. Yeah. Definitely come here hungry. Yeah, bring your appetite. We ate a really, really light breakfast. And then we had about a, it was about a 12 o'clock, yeah, noon reservation. And we've been perfect. all over the park too. Yeah, we've been so. doing rides around the park and walking around. So we were nice and hungry. It was perfect. Yeah, bring your appetites because this is a big meal. And like every restaurant, book it ahead. I mean. Oh yeah, this one definitely books out far in advance. Um, right now it's 60 days in advance for dining reservations. So we, we booked it that full 60 days out. And we, we were able to get a, a good a good prime um, time that we wanted. The noon spot was, right was great. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you're looking for a specific time, definitely book that the 60 days out, or however long it is at, that, at the time you're booking it. Yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. I would say, Great. we went to be our guest, and I, you're pleasantly surprised. I think we were, our expectations low. I thought the food was excellent, but this was, this is all you can eat, and it's, you know, it's half the price. <laughs> not, not quite half the price, but a lot yeah. less expensive, and this is better. Right, and I know you're a big part of it is you're paying paying for the experience, yeah. the environment. Oh yeah, the environment in here is really nice. It's very, I don't know, just very comfort comforting. It's very warm inside. Yeah. It looks like you're inside a house. Uh, each room is dedicated to a different, you know, uh, person, you know, patriot in, in American history, which is really neat. We're in the Betsy Ross room. Uh, you just, I just, I just want to walk around and look at all the all of the artifacts on the walls and look at all the pictures and everything. So yes. I know each of the rooms. I know you walked around for a little bit. Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, mm -hmm. just on the walls. Yeah. This is yeah. great. Thank Very you. good. Yeah, she was nice. <laughs> um, yeah, a little more from zero. Uh, thank you. Yeah, I just walked around. There's um, all over the walls are little pieces of history, like old maps from the colonial days and pictures of uh, different patriots and um, old old flags, like little or I say pictures, actual like little paintings, like portraits of. Um, like John Adams and uh, Benjamin, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Yeah, I know there's a Benjamin Franklin room, mm -hmm. and we're in the Betsy Ross room. I'm sure that there, I think there's an adult one for George Washington as well. So some of the tables are set up like, just like you're, you're at home. You know, yeah, there's like, some, some, for like, for larger parties, they have big, big round tables, like you're sitting at a big dining room table, right in the middle of the room. It's really neat how they have it set up in here. And then they have small tables for small groups, like we're just a little tiny table, um, little kind of half group, half table. But yeah, it's really neat. Thank you. Thank you. But yeah, very, very pleasant, wonderful experience here. Definitely recommend it if you're, if you're wanting to have a nice sit down, um, kind of a comfort, kind of comfort food, Thanksgiving type meal here in here, here in Magic Kingdom. Well, this is this is excellent. This is definitely recommend. Yeah, I, I said this is our favorite place to eat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before. so far out of, out of all the places, all of the sit down, yeah. you know, uh, dining reservation locations in Magic Kingdom. I think this one tops them. Um, definitely our favorite of all the ones we've tried. We've, we've eaten at Jumble Skipper Canteen. We've eaten at Be Our Guest. I think we've eaten at almost all of the places yeah. that you need a reservation for. And this one, based on this experience, this one tops them all. So, very, very awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we'll show you some more, uh, some video footage as we're kind of walking around the restaurant. And, and make sure to share with you kind of the menu and everything that you get. And I believe that the um, lunch and the dinner are the same, same menu, can't serve family style right now. So yeah, very awesome. <laughs> Take a look at this. <laughs> it looks so good. So this is the ooey gooey toffee cake. Oh my goodness. So it's got the ooey gooey toffee cake on the bottom, vanilla ice cream on top, and then so it looks like caramel and chocolate drizzle on top with little toffee bits. 
little toppy uh, crunchy bits on top. This looks so good. <laughs> all the ooey gooey cakes have it. We haven't had them with ice cream. And I know we haven't had we haven't had one with all the fixins like this. So we what we've heard is that this is a a really popular dish here at Magic Kingdom. Like this, is, they're really really known for this. So okay, right. That is delicious. Wow. You really get that toffee flavor coming through. The caramel. It's like a rich, rich caramel sauce. Rich caramel flavor. Mm. The cake is more like a... Yeah, it almost reminds me of like a blonde brownie. Yeah, blonde brownie. Yeah. But with a... But maybe a little softer. Mm, the toffee flavor. Yeah, but with the toffee flavor. So There's it's got like, like the caramel ooey and ooey chocolate. Cakes we've had before. Right, yeah. We've had a lot of ooey gooey butter cakes. <laughs> mm. This is different. This is more like a soft blonde brownie with chocolate and caramel, like that like that dark caramel flavor. Uh, like the top yeah, your signature kind of toffee flavor, but with the ice cream, it's really nice. Mm. Really soft and sweet. Yeah, the, the ice cream helps a lot because it helps cut through that really sweet, sweet, yeah. rich flavor of the, the caramel and the chocolate. This is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. well, I love toffee too. Yeah. Uh, the Christmas time, or yeah, in the, around the holidays, we make homemade toffee. Um, it's so so good. <laughs> this is this is this is excellent. get some of those toffee bits on top. Mm -hmm. I like having the toffee bits on top because they give it that kind of crunch factor that it needs. Everything else is really soft and sweet and the little toffee bits give you that crunch. I really like this. I might have to try to recreate this one at home. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Good solid dessert. Nice. It's, it's definitely definitely shareable. You can share this with your family. It's a lot. It's a lot to go around. So it's hard to do, but we we didn't finish everything. We sent yeah. back most of the mac and cheese for sure and the potatoes. So. Yeah. Make sure make sure and save room for dessert. This is amazing. So make sure and save some room for this. Yeah. We didn't. Yeah. I know it's it's all you can eat. They'll bring they'll keep bringing you out more platters if you if you want if you're really hungry. Yeah. Um, we we opted not to because we're like oh let's save ourselves let's save ourselves from being too stuffed. We wanted to save room for the yummy desserts. I'm glad we did. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thanks for joining us today, guys. We will see you next time. Bye.